Okay, I'm going to show you how to do solving by substitution when you've got some simultaneous equations. You can see we've got two equations here, y equals 2x take 3 and 4x take 3y equals 7. They're in different forms, but it doesn't really matter. What we're looking for here is a way to get one of those equations into the other one. I can see that y is 2x take 3. So why don't I get all of that and put it down into that y there? So if I do that and rewrite this bottom equation, I would get 4x minus 3 times 2x take 3 being equal to 7. The next step I'd have to do is to expand these brackets here. So I know I need to multiply that 3 by the 2x and I need to multiply the 3 by the negative 3. Don't forget to do that because that's where people, people often go wrong here. 4x is still there. Negative 3 times 2x is negative 6x. Negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. And that's equal to 7 still. Now I'm going to collect the like terms. 4x take 6x is negative 2x plus 9 equals 7. And I'm going to get rid of that 9 there by subtracting it on the other side. So I'll end up with negative 2x equals 7 take 9, which is negative 2. So if negative 2 times x equals negative 2, I could divide both sides here by negative 2, or I can really just see that if uh, something multiplied by something equals it's that number, well, x has got to be 1, right? So x is equal to 1. So that's half the problem. The other problem thing is I, I need to uh, find out what y is. So I substitute that x back into one of these equations. It makes most sense to put it into this one here because I've got y by itself. So I'm going to substitute x. y equals 2 times 1, take 3. So y will equal negative 1. x equals 1, y equals negative 1 is the solution. I'll do another example here. 3x plus 7y equals 6, x equals 5 thirds y take 1. In this case I've got x by itself here being equal to 5 thirds y take 1. So I'm going to substitute all of that there into that up here. So on the next line here I'll say 3 times 5 over 3y take 1 plus 7y equals 6. So if I multiply this by this, that 3 and that 3 will cancel out and I'll have 5y. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3 plus 7y equals 6. 5y plus 7y is 12y. Negative 3 equals 6. I'm going to get that 6 there, that, I'm sorry, I'm going to get that 3 there, that negative 3. And to remove that from this side, I need to add 3 to both sides. So 12y equals 6 plus 3. 12y equals 9. So y is going to equal 9 divided by 12. Dividing there because it's 12 times y and the inverse operation is to divide. Um, I can simplify that. Both of those are divisible by 3. So y equals 3 over 4. 3 quarters. Now I'm going to substitute that back up here. So x is equal to 5 thirds times 3 quarters take 1. x is equal to 15 over 12 take 1. x is equal to 3 twelfths, which is 1 quarter. You can use your calculator for that part there if you are not good with working with fractions.